what the plan is with this car is a power wall on wheels. So this project has consumed quite a bit of my thought life and I'd appreciate it a lot if you would subscribe. So I'm going to share with you some of the plans that I've been working on with this car. Um, there's a lot to do on this car to really even get it ready. The, the thing I'm dreading the most actually is the hydraulic brakes that it has. Um, the master cylinder for the hydraulic brakes. Uh, probably can't really see it good in there. But the line is disconnected. And it it's pretty seized up. I mean, I can't, I can't even push on the brakes. So that's what I'm dreading the most. But in the meantime, while I uh, procrastinate and dread it, I've uh, come up with a plan, I think. So this will be our car. And I do believe I can get two solar panels on this car. So the midway being about here and the back one will stick off maybe a couple inches and the front one will stick off probably uh, a little past this, this area. So, um, but I do think I can get two solar panels on. That'll give me quite a bit more charging ability. Um, but basically what the plan is with this car, uh, let me just summarize it real quick for you, is a power wall on wheels so the drive battery is going to be a little bit higher voltage since i can go higher voltage on my controllers and it'll be probably a smaller battery the main battery isn't actually going to be the drive battery so you can see the solar panels will just have them uh, paralleled so we can have basically an 11s so the the solar panels dump the power directly into the the battery and uh, charge it that way so there's no really efficiency loss through uh, you know charge controllers or anything like that and so we'll have about well max 600 watts with two of those uh, maybe one day we'll get up a little bit higher than that but um, so they'll be dumping their power into this battery the 11s um, how many uh, you know, how big this battery is going to be is kind of undetermined based on whatever I get from battery hookup. We're working out a couple couple different options, but we're going to run a 6,000 watt or something similar off-grid inverter that's going to be a split phase so that you can run like a well. Uh, well, I would say mostly so you can run your well and any um, any major appliance, appliances. You could really honestly even run your main panel off of this you would just have to turn off any uh anything like hot water heaters um, in in emergency scenarios where you wouldn't use that but anyways that's uh that's going to be the plan with this we can eventually maybe go to a bigger uh inverter but we're also going to have a small small grid tie inverter that this can also be upgraded later on in the future but it's going to be a 500 watt which will basically allow the solar panels to push their power into the grid if we want this to uh if we want to do that with this uh, and uh what it's going to basically do is draw the power from the battery not necessarily the panels so the panels can charge the battery uh, at whatever rate they're charging at and we don't necessarily even have to worry about that the grid tie inverter will just draw 500 watts or 600 whatever i end up getting out of the battery um, to discharge the battery, hopefully uh, maybe only to 50%, uh, the 50% range. So then this battery is actually going to be used to charge the drive battery. So the drive battery is going to drive the car around. And so um, seems a little complicated, but, but yet um, it, it is simple. Um, to be able to pull off this and this, uh, and and this you know all all on this car uh, is pretty major feat um, and running this battery I, I'm not quite settled on the 120 volt battery I might just go something with 144 volt uh, based on um, what what I can find the boosters uh, the chargers and everything for that so um, we'll 
we'll kind of keep you updated on the progress of this, but I just wanted to share my plans with everything um, regarding this car. So once the sun starts staying up a little longer and it's not as cold, uh, we'll definitely start making some headway on this and once we get a few more batteries from Battery Hookup. Subscribe if you want to see some more um, on this car.